SCP-2287, aka Mr. Headless. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-2287 is to be contained in whole, hall redacted of site redacted, except for during being authorized sex testing. SCP-2287's ma mask is not to be removed. SCP-2287 does not require food, but can be provided with incense on its request, contingent and on good behavior. Literature provided for provided to SCP-2287 is to be converted in, into Braille. Description SCP-2287 is a hu headless humanoid white, white male who, who manifests has multiple anomalous properties. Among these pro these is the that it is able to function as a living being despite lacking a head. The words Mr. Headless from Little Misters by Dr. Wonder Entertainment are tattooed on the lower side of SCP 2287's back. Its exposed next stump is covered for with live skin. Radio radiographic examination has shown Note that the next stump has only the bottom of the four physical vertebrae, but there are no signs of spinal damage. The head base functions with which SCP-2287 is able to emulate include th thought, hearing, and smell. It is able to speak, but has not demonstrated the ability to replicate a normal tonality of a human voice as well. Well, it claims to be blind. It does not eat or breathe. Breathe and has claimed to, that its energy source may be, be some kind of amplified fine, fine photosynthesis or something. See in review your log 2287 41-B. Direct visual observation of SCP-2287 headless business is not poss possible. Individuals who attempt to to observe this will instead perceive headless versions of themselves, as seen seen from SCP-2287's perspective. Such individuals describe being feeling disconnected from themselves, but are still able to control the movement of their bot their their own bodies, all better with difficulty. This effect does not occur when when SCP-2287 is viewed through any means other than in the unaided human eye. Now, SCP-2287's hopelessnesses can be observed via light or video transmission, in, in photographic prints, in mirrors, and through the windows or lenses. The individuals who have undergone radio okura total me we have been unable to observe headlessness. No individuals who have undergone can carry cataract surgery have have as yet yet been been able for testing. Motion detectors and so for monitoring equipment similarly who show SCP two two eight seven to be endless. This, despite this, SCP-2287 is capable of performing tasks which require their head, such as wearing items notes of headgear, including masks, hats, scarves, headphones, nose plugs, hugs, earplugs, earrings, eyeglasses, lipsticks, and barrettes. For a full list of items, see the document 2287-N and 12. SCP-2287 Two two eight seven was discovered in in Redacted, Wisconsin, on tw November twenty fourth, or twenty. He redacted after a significant number of reports for, from citizens appearing appeared describing the anomalous effects of SCP two two eight seven. Witnesses are given an amnestic treatment, and SCP two two eight seven was contained without issue. Begin log. Good evening, SCP-2287. Hey, Dr. Howard, what's up? More exper hearing experiments? No, actually, 
Exactly. Tonight is this is more of an interview. For instance, we were wondering where where you could tell us about Doctor Wonder Team it. Oh, uh, okay. I'll tell you what I can't. Hmm. But I never actually saw saw her. You know, with the whole blind thing. But you did interact with her. With who? Oh, Doctor Wonder Team it. Yeah, heck of a nice guy. Most of the time, I think. He had some he had some really crazy ideas like what he had in mind for me, see? Wait, wait, wait. You first you said her. Then you said he. What? First you referred Doctor One to Doctor Wonder Timid as a woman, then as a man. I I don't understand what you mean. Like Doctor Wonder Timid as an actual person? What are you talking about? You're abusing me. But you just said, no, I'm sorry. I must have his misheard. My bad. Well, okay. For a minute there, you were, you were making zero sense at all. And they call me Headley. That's ha. <coughs> Clear his throat. Well, well, uh, when you were worked for the foundation for for long enough, you discover many situations that d don't entirely make sense. You did say, say though, that Wonder Tim had in intended something specific for you. Oh yes, right. Well, basically, you know, during the holidays, there's a special holiday themed products. Yes. So I'm base. So basically, I'm a Halloween special unit. So you follow? That's it. That's it. Yep. The way I heard it, they were originally gonna do do sweetie for for Halloween, but I don't know. Some called corporate guard garbage executives sab sabotaging each other. You know how it goes. So I'm the backup plan. Sitting on the porch, I play dead, dead, and then then when the kids come by, woo. I and I sit up, kind of wave my arms at them. Them show, show them, who my stump, some look look. Everyone, one's, a, one's a headless monster. Lurch around, rah rah, the whole deal. Doctor One Team, Mint's Mister Headless. Spooky Halloween, fun for the whole family. I see. And are you, fun for the whole fight family? I mean, well, I guess so. For the most part, I mean. Yeah, people, people enjoyed me, which is great. Don't be, don't get me wrong, but I never really got, got it myself, you know. Sit, sit there. I get up, help. I stand around. Wait, I wave my arms, and that's pretty much it. But people who would be scared, and they, and they had, have fun, and that's enough for me. Or what? Was anyway, until you people got a hold of me. Could be worse, I guess. Did you enjoy? Oh, you ent entertaining. Did you miss it? Yeah, for sure. Sure. I mean, yeah. It could get get boring when I I had to stand around, around, sit around, waiting for people to show up. Uh, but it was really, really good. And here, great hearing their one's reaction on Halloween of life. It's funny how people only find, find scary stuff funny one, one night a year, you know? No matter how many times do you live through a year, they they only change their minds on Halloween. Are you, are you the only, well, the only hol holiday theme, themed? Uh, hey, you can say little mister. I don't mind. It's what I am. I suppose it's just, well, it sounds vaguely infantilizing to me. So I talked to what David said. Said we were called. So it's, it's what we're called. But yeah, I'm the only, the only holiday themed the little Mister. At first, Doctor Wonder Team was pl planning on having a more of us. I remember she, you know the. All these ideas for for Mr. Ramadan, Mr. Le Mr. Lessig, 
Tessa, and Mr. D. D y Wally, and Mr. and Miss. Miss Yam Kippur, and Miss. Her hug my name, but she never did anything with any of them. Just me. How did you be feel about that? Never really, never really thought thought about it. To be honest, I guess maybe we he decided that I'd be more interesting if I if I was the only one, or maybe we had to change his mind about the the doing holiday stuff. He changed his mind a lot. I don't know. Would you, would you get, get when there, there's a whole, there's a bunch of, of corporate jerks, jerks all making decisions against each other. That's why I'm, I'm Mr. Headless. Spooky Halloween fun for the whole family, instead of Mr. Halloween. Do you see yourself as scary? I see, see myself as someone who brings surprise. Rise and excitement. When they get scared, that means I'm doing a good job. Although, well, it's been getting harder lately. The doctor's a one-man operation, and she didn't realize, or didn't realize, lately. How, how many, many kids wear, wear glasses these days? And what I wear. I've lived through a year like this. This with cameras and stuff like that. The effect is pretty much ruined. I mean, yes, I'm still scary. I'm still scary, Mr. Headless. Spooky Halloween fun for the whole family. But it doesn't seem to be much as much fun for the people when they didn't get to be headless with me. Where we we found you? Back in Wisconsin. Could you tell us, us what you were doing there? Where you found me? Well, I spent a few years with, there with, with this family. I think they, I think by that, that point they were consecutive years. But I couldn't swear to, swear to that. I don't know, know that some of them were sure, were for sure years. I hadn't li lived in, in before. You know, how a, how a year always feels weird the first time around, right? They mostly felt like like that. Anyway, so so the family w I was with, they mostly kept me in the attic, which it, which was well, it was quiet. I remember sometimes I could hear noises from downstairs. If they could, if they were being being loud enough, but. Usually it was quiet. I was pretty used to the, to the smell. There was mildew, and dust, and old paper. You know, you know the way the metal pipes smell when when they get hot. It was like that. They bring me down for Halloween, and then put me back back up afterward. And then one Halloween, they didn't come come to come and get me. So I didn't didn't come down that year. I know that year, it was to be a new year. They didn't come give me the year after either, or the year after that. And then, the, and that's when when I started to get worried about them. So I went downstairs and couldn't find find anybody. I felt felt around everywhere, but there, but all the furniture and stuff was gone. Was all gone, gone too. Maybe they moved. Moved and forget got me, and that's what led you, led to you wandering in the sea st streets. Yeah, I waited around for a few weeks, and then some people opened the door to the front porch, where there, where the cannibal usually is. They ca came in. I didn't recognize their voices, but but an audience is an audience, right? So I went back upstairs from the attic, and they. Well, they kind of freaked out, I guess. I mean, I'm used to people hearing people scream, but not like that. One of them had a, what's it called? Little thing? What? And it makes you sort of a, sort of a pop noise and smells 
alchemical then people get hurt a gun okay one of them had a gun which one? yeah I found a no when I walked uh, out to her and tried to feel her face which I admit was not the best idea but well I was kind of lonely to be honest and I thought maybe she could she might be one one of the people from from the family you know I mean yeah I should have asked first but I was lonely but I was lonely and I was excited that that there there was someone there and I thought that I was my it was maybe, be somebody I knew, but it wasn't. And then there was all the screaming and gun and the no gun noises. And this was the bad screaming, not the fun kind at all. Let me tell you. And one of them, them was lying on the floor and smelling weird. That means he was dead, right? One of them was was dead, and the others went right away, but they left the front door door open so I decided that that was a good time I mean, as I need to go outside so then I'm walking in the streets and then there's cars all around me hey, they're under a honking and I chat at each other sure and making all these crashing noises says with glass breaking and there were a lot of people screaming and again this is the bad screaming but then I remember but there's usually a park or close to the house. And I, I hope that, that I went there with, with bushes and stuff, I could hide it. And I could at least stay, stay out of trouble. So I made it there. And I remember thinking if, maybe if I could, could get that, get back to Dr. Wondertainment, she could fix things. Help the guy hide from the house. I was not. Not be dead, figured out what, what went wrong, where the family went, or get somebody new to, to take me. And uh, that's pretty much what we you guys got from me. She didn't send you, did she? Uh, no. We didn't just send to some police reports. Oh. Tell me, why didn't you go back to, into the house? Into the house? Into the attic? Um, this is kind of embarrassing I kind of when I was out on the street with all the cars I kind of got turned around a bit lost my bearings I'm not used to being out of places that are bigger than than just a house I was in a, in a yard I probably could have found the house, house again if it, there were or so many screaming people and crashing cars but well I was starting to panic too so I just went, went for the boy. Because it sounded like there, there weren't any buildings. I see. And why didn't he try to leave, to leave sooner? Well, the front door wasn't, wasn't open before that. No, I mean, why did you the, wait, wait so long before you even went downstairs? Before you decided that maybe something was wrong. Wrong with you. You haven't even been left alone in the attic for so long. Oh, well, I guess I didn't really care. I was just, I was just thinking. The attic was, was really quiet, and the smell wasn't too bad. Maybe it made it easy to think. That's something I do, do a lot, you know. While I'm waiting, not much else to do. What do, you, what do you think about? Just things, you know, things in general. The world, what it might be like, what it's like just like being me, nothing specific, I guess, but for three years, yeah, why? And long. Wow, you've just found yourself self your very own little mister, a limited edition collection from, from Dr. Wonder Teeman. Find them all and become Mr. Collector. Number one, Mr. Chameleon. Number two, Mr. Headless. Number three, Mr. Laugh. Number four, Mr. Forgetful. Number five, Mr. Shapey. Number six, Mr. Soap. Number seven, Mr. Hungry. Number eight, Mr. Brass. Number nine, Mr. Hot. Number ten, Mr. Sweet. 
E. Number 11, Mr. Life and Mr. Death. Number 12, Mr. Fish. Number 13, Mr. Moon. Number 14, Mr. Red. Number 15, Mr. Money. Number 16, Mr. Loss. Number 17, Mr. Lie. Number 18, Mr. Mad. Number 19, Mr. Scary. Number 20, Mr. Stripes.